Hey, it's Chris, and today we're finally answering the most asked question of all time on the channel, which is what is my favorite iPad Pro size slash which iPad Pro size should you buy? Now, I think this is the perfect time to be talking about this because the brand new iPad Pros are just about to be announced. And as somebody who's used every iPad Pro model there's ever been extensively, both the bigger and the smaller and the even smaller, the original, then yeah, I have a lot to say and tell you about. Let me just give you this tasty morsel right out of the gate. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro was my go-to iPad Pro for the longest time. I had that before I had the brand new 10 and a half inch. And when I got that 10 and a half inch and I had them both sitting around in the house and at the office and in the studio, I started reaching for that 10 and a half inch probably eight out of 10 times. So I think that says a whole lot right there, but that's in no way the entire story when it comes to these iPad Pro. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about which one I like best in what different situation. And then I'm also gonna say, here's some recommendations for you if you're looking for X, Y, or Z to help you make the best possible purchase decision. Before we get any further, I do wanna mention I've linked up a few of my all-time favorite iPad Pro accessories down in the description. So make sure to go check those out too. Today's sponsor is Paperlike, which is an accessory that makes it feel and sound like you're writing on real paper paper when you're using the Apple Pencil. Paperlike actually gives you more control when you're writing or drawing thanks to the paper-like resistance that it offers. And yeah, it really makes a big difference. Plus, it reduces glare and fingerprints, which is awesome. Paperlike is great for anybody who uses apps like Notability or Procreate. When you place an order, you'll get two Paperlike covers plus application accessories with free worldwide shipping and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. This is something that I feel like Apple almost could have made themselves. It's that cool. Paperlike's actually doing a giveaway for you guys. So if you want to win one, then check out the rules down in the description. Okay, so I already told you that eight out of 10 times, I end up reaching for that smaller iPad Pro over the larger one when I see them both sitting there and I'm gonna go do something with an iPad Pro. The weird thing is I can actually list off more things that I think the larger iPad Pro is better at than I can the smaller one. It's just the smaller one kind of has this trump card, which is its size. I do want to say that I really like using that bigger iPad Pro when I'm at the desk doing desk work because that extra screen real estate is just awesome for split screen multitasking and just feels more like a laptop screen. And obviously the bigger iPad is better for doing stuff like sketching or drawing or anything art related. But it's not just good when it's parked on the desk. When it's off the desk, it's great for watching things like Netflix or Hulu or YouTube or movies, anything like that. When it comes to media and consumption, there's no comparison. The bigger iPad is so much better. Now, when it comes to gaming, I have to say that I definitely prefer the smaller iPad Pro because it's just easier to hold. So playing Fortnite and Red Tides, which are two of my most played games right now, those I always reach for the 10 and a half inch. I think that's kind of ironic because whenever I think about gaming, I always tend to think that a bigger screen is automatically just gonna be a better experience. But when it comes to these iPad Pros, it's just too unwieldy. It's just kind of too much to hold while you have to be tapping around and stuff. Now, if you're using a game controller, that might be a different story. The bigger screen might make a lot of sense for that. So all of those things being said, if you forced me to pick one iPad Pro that I would own and use personally, I think I would go, I definitely would go with the 10 and a half inch. And I think that's probably the case for like 80% of the population. But I wanna make this really clear. If I had any iPad Pro, either or, the bigger or the smaller, I'd be really happy. Like I'm a huge fan of the iPad Pro lineup in any form. So having one or the other would be amazing for me. I feel like I would have no regrets having the big or the small one. But if you force me to choose, then I would probably go with the smaller one. Now in the recent past, I made a couple of videos that were sort of defending that 12.9 inch larger Pro because I felt like there was a lot of almost unfair criticisms being directed at it. So if you haven't seen those yet, it might be worth watching those before you make a purchase decision. So now that I've talked about some of my preferences and my everyday usage scenarios, I also just wanna mention on the technical side of things that the pros currently have the same processors, RAM, GPUs, and the same screen tech. Now that could change. In the future, I could see Apple maybe wanting to differentiate the iPad Pro lineup, but I don't think as long as the size is the main thing that people are concerned with, that my recommendations are really gonna change at all. Okay, so recommendations, let me make a couple. Starting with, if you're looking for a laptop replacement, then I would personally go with the larger model, the 12.9 inch, because it's like I said, better for working at your desk, but 
The split screen, it's the only iPad model where you can get two full-size iPad apps side by side, and that can be huge. Also, if you ever find yourself typing on the digital keyboard and you want a little bit more space, then the digital keyboard is also bigger on the larger iPad model. Now, if you're not looking for a laptop replacement, if you're just looking for another device that you can use in different situations, then I would probably go with the smaller iPad Pro. And I gotta say, like the iPad Pro and the MacBook, owning them both, it's really complimentary. It's a great system. Like my MacBook Pro is in the center of my desk where I do all my video editing and a lot of other work too. But if I'm headed out to a meeting or a coffee shop or something, I'll definitely grab the iPad Pro because it's just so much easier to fold up and pack and get out of there with. You don't have to unplug any cords or dongles or anything like that. Plus, if I'm gonna be traveling, it's a lot lighter than taking a MacBook with me, depending on what the situation is. So it can be really great to have both. Now, obviously, if money is a factor in your decision, then just get the smaller one because it is actually cheaper in terms of dollars per gigabyte. Another factor, if you're looking for that rose gold color, that's only available on the smaller iPad Pro. Now, here's kind of an X factor or a wild card. If you're looking for better battery life, then you definitely want to go with the larger iPad Pro because it does have a better battery, even though it's not something Apple officially talks about or discloses, but you can see it pretty clearly if you look up the benchmark results. I'm pretty confident that this video is gonna be helpful to anybody trying to make a decision about which iPad Pro version they should get, whether it's the current generation models or the new ones being announced here in 2018, or even in 2019 and maybe beyond, because like I said, as long as size is the main factor that separates the two different iPad Pros or however many there are, then I think this is gonna be very relevant. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget that I linked up some of my all-time favorite iPad Pro accessories down in the description. And don't forget you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Daily Tech, spelled daily, T-E-K-K, -K, in both of those places. And I'll catch you in the next video. Later.